really liking this new setup I have for the Sony ZV-1. It means that I can hold the camera a little bit further away and get more of myself in the frame. So I'll talk about that in another video. In a previous video of mine where I was talking about mist filters, somebody asked me whether it's possible to use filters with the Sony ZV-1. So I'm going to say right now that it is possible and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. If you've got the Sony ZV-1 then you know that there's no filter for the lens. Um, it's not that type of lens. So for to do this you're going to need something called the mag filter and this essentially attaches to the front of the lens with a sticky adhesive so put that on about 24 hours before you want to put the filter on because then it just gives it enough time to just make sure that it sets and that it doesn't fall off and I've been using it for quite a few days now and um, I haven't had any problems with it, it hasn't fallen off the filter that I got which I'll show you in a second is got it's got a bit of weight to it but it's not too heavy so it does work and I'll show you which one it is So if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I love to use filters, ND filters, mist filters more recently as well. And the reason I use ND filters is for the 180 degree shutter rule and then pro mist filters just because I think they make the footage look awesome. And so I'm currently using the KNF Concept 2-in-1 filter. So it's a variable ND filter and a pro mist filter and it's a quarter pro mist filter. So the reason I did that was because I want to use both and that's the only way that I can really do it. The filter, as I said, is it has a bit of weight to it, but it's not too heavy. I haven't found that it puts any stress on the lens at all. Uh, the only thing that I will say is that when, you're, when you want to turn the ND filter to dial in your exposure, you kind of have to hold on to the mag filter adapter because, because it's magnetic and it just sticks on, it doesn't twist on to anything it kind of spins when you're turning the ND filter. So just hold on to that whilst you're turning the ND filter and then you're pretty much good to go. I've currently got the filter on at the moment. So the footage that you're seeing now is with that ProMist filter. And I did try the Tiffin 1.8 ProMist filter, but I didn't see that it made much of a difference on this um, camera. So I went ahead and I just got a one, a quarter in, a quarter uh, Promis filter instead. So this is the footage that you're seeing with it. Just to give you an example, this is what the footage looks like with the ND filter on and the mist filter. And this is now with the ND filter and mist filter off. So Kyle, I hope that answers your question and I um, hope you found the video useful. And anyone else, hope you found the video useful as well. If so, do give the video a like and subscribe to see more videos. I've got some more coming about, coming out about the Sony ZV-1 and uh, a way to get around the whole floating head thing. As you can see, I'm a little bit further away this time. My head's not, my whole head isn't in the frame. So do stick around and um, check out some of those videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.